this is Dominic, and you're listening to This Week in Vice. This week on Go With the Heat, your enthusiast guide to the cultural phenomenon that was Miami Vice, we're talking about Season 1, Episode 18, titled The Maze, which originally premiered on February 22nd, 1985. Let's take a look back and see what was happening this week when Vice was king, the week of February 18th, 1985. In news, on February 26th, the 27th Grammy Awards took place at the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles, California. Hosted by John Denver, this would be an exceptional night for Tina Turner, who took home four Grammys for her amazing album, Private Dancer, including Record of the Year and Song of the Year. In sports news, during a game against the Purdue Boilermakers, Indiana Hoosiers head coach Bobby Knight, known for his fury courtside, throws a folding chair across the court and responds to receiving a technical foul. This scene is still one of the most iconic college basketball moments and is often replayed. In music, replacing Foreigner on the top of the charts this week is Wham! featuring George Michael and their undeniable classic Careless Whisper from the July 1984 album Make It Big. Although George Michael was still performing with Wham!, this was his first solo single and reached number one in 25 countries, selling 6 million copies worldwide. In TV news, there is sad news. Actor Nicholas Colasanto passed away on February 12th. Best known for his role as coach Ernie Pantuso on the TV sitcom Cheers. Nicholas served in the U.S. Navy and appeared in several films in addition to TV. His role as coach on Cheers is one of my all-time favorite characters on TV, and he is sorely missed. At the box office, Eddie Murphy's critically acclaimed action comedy film Beverly Hills Cop still sits on top, but also playing in theaters is a personal favorite of mine. Vision Quest debuts in theaters on February 18th, starring Matthew Modine, Linda Fiorentino, and Ronnie Cox. It's a coming-of-age drama. Modine plays a high school wrestler who falls in love with an older woman. Vision Quest also debuts Madonna in her first motion picture role. And that's all the news you need to know of what was happening the week of February 18th, 1985. Although I danced around with dates a little bit, Miami Vice did miss a week in February, so this is technically two weeks of news. We appreciate you for listening. I encourage you to go check out our full show, Go With The Heat at GoWithTheHeat.com. I'd love to hear your feedback, not only on a big show, but on this show that we've been putting in the feed. Go With The Heat at gmail.com, or you can get me on Twitter at Dom Corvo. Bye, pals.